All right, so our job today is this S2000. Now, don't everybody scream out at once, what do you think it is here for? <laughs> yes, a soft top. So it's funny, we've seen all kinds of repairs. Everyone repairs them slightly different. Uh, some are done really well. Some people stitch them and then use like a black glue. And other people just put tons of tape around it. So, new OEM soft top. Um, the doors open a little bit, like get some airflow through here. But luckily we have two of these in stock. One of them is not until the end of the year, but this top is back ordered right now. Honda can't get it, we can't get it. So luckily we have one for this car and another one coming up. So you're not gonna cut that top, I was gonna actually try and resell that. I just told people that it's on back order. Oh. Yeah, this is on back order, so don't cut it. So if you haven't cut it already, we yeah, more that's the good side. Yeah, actually, yeah, we've got some more of this. We can fix that and it matches the silver. So luckily we have one for this car. Hopefully we'll have the other one come back and replace. Okay, so a little makeshift bench, gonna do a little bit of outside grinding. I don't want the dirt in here. So basically a fender stand, hood stand, whatever you call it. The body shops have them for like 25 bucks, pretty cheap. Piece of plywood, zip tied over there. Of course the plywood is that? <laughs> bunch of weed stuff vines you could like film a documentary back here of stuff that lives because this vine stuff is like i haven't been back here in a, a couple of weeks this stuff is like everywhere look at this stuff i'm gonna pull that out so pull the sc out but i just tripped oh look at that just tripped over stuff wow <laughs> just almost bust my tail on that stuff yeah, it wraps around your foot and trips you up. I wouldn't come back here at night. Look at that, it's impenetrable. You can't even see back there. That's behind the buildings. There's like parrot things living up in the tree. Like two of them. There's sometimes snakes back here. Uh, when it's really rainy, you get standing water here. So you've got 2000 billion mosquitoes. It's fun times, but I got my makeshift bench right here. Here's our air conditioning that's not on right now. We have our exhaust fan that's running, which makes it kind of breezy back here. It's actually quite nice. There's another uh, thousand square foot that I may utilize. I think I might clean some of these vines up right here. Let me show you these things. All right, so that's a little bit better, a little bit more usable. Now, look at this back here. We get out the fan. This backs up to the dude's house. This thing has a massive backyard. I mean, it's weird because we're in a commercial area and somehow there's a dude living there as a big piece of land. And this is what it looks like. There used to be old vehicles back here. I mean, you hear the joke of somebody mowed their lawn and found the truck. There were several vehicles back here that just got abandoned and the trees grew in and around them. So while I'm doing the vegetation removal, George is doing a pull on top outside just to get some fresh air. And a suntan. Make sure you put on some luck. It's been raining for a while, so it's nice outside. Yeah, it really is. It's actually cool for us. It's cooler than it's been for a while because we've had non-stop rain. It's just windy though, as you hear. But it's actually pretty nice. I'm gonna bring the tent out here because George wants to work outside. Or Harbor Freight tent. Now, quick backstory on this. When my dad comes to visit, he likes to go to Harbor Freight just because there's a whole bunch of cheap stuff and they don't have that kind of thing in England. So it's just kind of something to do and wander around. These were on sale for like 70 bucks. I said, you know what, I want to get one next time we go to a car show, we can put it out. We've had tents over the years, they've all broke, but they've always been kind of expensive. So I bought one of these tents for 70 bucks, took it home, set it up in the backyard just to make sure it actually works. My dad was so impressed with it. He went back the next day and bought another one. And then when the time came for him to go home, he goes, I'm not gonna get out of the plane, you can have it. Which was probably the plan all along, but in his words, I can't believe how cheap they are. Awesome, 70 bucks. All right, 110 car show style. Reminds us back in the car show days, which seems like years ago. So now fresh air, shade, rivet gun. What else could you ask for? Maybe a cocktail. How about water?
soon these are going to be a thing of the past. We're going to look back on this video and go, wow, you remember when we used to be able to get OEM tops that fit absolutely perfect and with OEM quality? It looks like it's going to be sooner than later, too. Yeah, it's kind of sad, isn't it? And then we're stuck with the eBay uh, tops for 250 bucks that look just like a real top. All right, so another intake manifold just came in. This time it is a B18B. This is the non-VTEC manifold. Looks very similar, but at first glance, if you look at the spacing right here, this is what holds a supercharger on. Well, this would take the M45 supercharger. It's basically the same supercharger as comes on the single cam as well as the B20, the CRV. The spacing on the VTEC supercharger would be out here. Now, these are drilled differently, but they're cast. If you ever see those bolt holes, the VTEC guys are used to seeing this hole drilled here and no hole here. Now, there is the casting bumps on the inside, the same as you see, there's the three bumps there. You see the two that are drilled for the B18B, which is the M45 supercharger. If this was the VTEC, the third one over here would be drilled and this middle one would be a blank. Well, part of what we do is when we remove this top surface, we remove those because they do obstruct the airflow quite a bit. If you look at our manifolds, the thread actually comes up here. These are just to access the bolts for the supercharger. This, if you look through here, it's so you can actually get your wrench in there and tighten the bolt. So these are gonna stay but they're going to be the raised boss instead of sunk in, which it does obstruct the airflow quite a bit. You can kind of see in there. And they all have the three bumps. So also a slight difference on this is the S-tube. Now we offer the S-tube ported, but on the B18B, this is quite a bit different. First off, there's hardly anything you can do to improve the airflow on this because it doesn't flow very well. This kind of sits under here can't hold it at the same time but it actually tucks in closer to here well our end tank is going to sit off here is about an inch and a quarter so it would rub this this wouldn't fit so what we have to do on the b18b's to make them work is we're basically going to straighten that out imagine this shape right here we're going to basically cheat it to make it more straight make it kind of do this two reasons one it increases our room here for the end tank but it increases airflow on the supercharger bigger is better on the intake side the bigger intake air tube you can supply it better the bigger you can go bigger throttle body bigger tube more airflow it's very sensitive to the intake side it doesn't like to work for the air it almost has to be gravity fed uh, so to speak so we're basically going to get this we're going to cut a what I would call a pie out of here and a pie out of here. So this tube here, rather than going to a 90 degree, it's more of a 45, and then we change this to a 45. So it kind of goes a bit of a straight angle. The throttle body would go here. It increases airflow, increases room. There is an additional charge for this over the VTEC ones. We're not offering this right now because I wanted to make a fixture for these, but he just sent this and said, well, just no rush, whatever, do whatever you need to do. There is an additional charge. We haven't figured that out yet. Maybe 70 to 100 bucks to modify this and cut it and port it and get it where we need it. That will uh, advertise that when we actually have the process dialed in. Also, when you send us this manifold, remove everything. Remove this because once we're done with this, we have to take it apart. It sends out and goes in an acid bath. And I have seen the acid actually kill some of these brass fittings. It's actually took all the shape of them off. Uh, if you left it in overnight, the brass actually disappears, believe it or not. It's like a, an acid that's designed to clean aluminum. It doesn't hurt the aluminum, it cleans it, but it kills these brass fittings. So remove these and these before you send it to us. Of course, remove the valve, which this customer already did. These paper gaskets, they get cut off, they're no longer gonna be reused. As you see, it's kind of already breaking apart. Uh, we use Honda Bond on here, and you can make your own gaskets, but I've had really good luck. Thin smear Honda Bond, thin smear Honda Bond, put the supercharger on. The original superchargers, when they shipped, they used to come with a gray fluid. It was like a Honda Bond, but a more runny version. The early ones, when they first came out, then they changed these paper gaskets. I still had better luck with the Honda Bond, Permatex, something like that. Again, don't, don't pour it on there. 
paint it on, just make it look like it's an even smear all the way around. All right, so I just came back with food. As you see, we are having Panda Express today. And we're gonna eat this, and then by the time we're finished, uh, a special guest is coming by. Steve's here. You've seen us talk about this in past videos. If Steve calls you and needs change for a dollar, nobody really <laughs> understands. Nobody really understands what that means. I owe Steve so many more favors than he owes me. I always feel like, hey Steve, do you need something? Do you want something doing? No, that's okay. He came to borrow a tool. I went, absolutely. Do you want two? Steve's going to the Dragon with us this year. Haven't decided which car. Uh, I'm, I'm going to kind of leave that because I, I said in that video you might choose a I, different car. I saw that. We should actually pull bets. George and I are going to do a secret bet of who, which car he's going to take. Yeah. We're not going to talk about it, but we'll, we'll I pull might that. not even have the car yet. Oh, he's going to really throw a curveball. That'll be interesting. We know Mike's going to take the Camaro. I've torn my car apart, so hopefully we get it back together. It's going to go. George is building a turbo kit for his car. We're going to be building it probably together, but he's kind of orchestrating the whole thing. So it's very rare that Steve ever needs to borrow anything, so that's where the joke comes from. If he wants change for a dollar, you take there with every denomination that you can, just in case he needs it. So we talked about going to the Dragon, and a couple of people messaged me and commented, uh, hey, how about you guys do a meet and greet, which actually sounds kind of cool. I don't know where we would do it, but if you want to meet George, I'm not George, George or myself, um, we'll, we'll let you know. We'll figure out somewhere maybe we can do a meet at uh, a restaurant or outside of a restaurant or do a drive or something. But we'll let you know. We'll give you the heads up uh, a few weeks before so you can make plans. So, valve cover gasket. Uh, this customer supplied their own valve cover gasket. It's not a factory OEM, but well, fingers crossed it works. Lock the fan here. Top looks fantastic. I'm not going to pull this off, I'm going to let George do that, we'll film the monumental moment of, re of uh, removing the plastic film, but the valve cover gasket is leaking, and I'm hoping that this isn't correct, because it says three, is it, zoom in focus, so it's three, six of seventeen, it's three years ago. That's right folks, it's almost 3 o'clock. This is that wall of shape by the way. If you've seen this before in past videos, you'll see some of these things star in some of the past. It's not quite 3 o'clock, but I'm going to put them in the freezer just for a couple of minutes just to get them chilled down as much as possible. Talking of chilled down, if you live in England, this is a big part of your life, an ice cube tray. Now it's a big part of your life because you have one. You don't use it. You only bring it out for special occasions and you ask people, um, would you like one cube or two? Because we only have 12. I remember going back to England and finding that out. They don't have ice. But this is our three o'clock somewhere tradition. of chilling down a little bit and we'll come back to those. So this was the valve cover set. I know this is a good brand, but we're such a diehard OEM type of shop. Um, it actually fit. Usually we kind of shy away from this stuff, but uh, it came with uh, the tube seals as well, as well as the uh, the grommets on the top, so uh, I'll tell you it fits. However, if you buy one from us, it's still going to come in a Honda bag. So the AC control knobs are pretty well uh, trashed, and this customer supplied their own, but these are not the right ones. Somebody, uh, uh, they're a Honda piece, well it looks like, it doesn't say Honda on them, actually behind that it does. They look like they're from an EK. We're not going to open them so this customer can return them. But they're quite a bit different to the S2000 ones. So unfortunately, we don't have any in stock right now, so we can't help this person out, unfortunately. All right, so this one is all good. We can call the customer. You see, George did a pretty good job cleaning up under there. While he was in there, it was pretty bad, so he scrubbed the valve cover and scrubbed the centerpiece and made it look a little bit more presentable. We're not going too crazy with it. We don't want to get into the whole engine bay, but of course we want to make it as nice as we can. This was completely packed full of leaves like they get to, so I vacuumed that out and vacuumed up there. And... You see any animals? Any trace of animals on this one? Surprisingly, no. That's with usually... All the, with all the cat prints going up the hood, you thought you'd just <laughs> be a cat in here somewhere. Yeah, that's, well, that's why there's no animals. <laughs> but yeah, when we see leaves like that, we usually see uh, droppings and little bits and pieces chewed, but fortunately, maybe the cat this time is helping the car out. All right, so it's had a good 18 minutes 
a chill type should feel a whole lot better in there. Let's see what we've got. Probably find out they're frozen completely frozen over solid. and useless now. Thank you. People have already said, hey, uh, we like your recommendation. There's a guy that said you can get this in caffeine uh, variant too. I don't know oh, if you really? knew about that. Yeah. So imagine a caffeine version of this. He said it's super addictive. Yeah, who doesn't like caffeine? Oh, absolutely. Amazon just showed up. That might be the ARP crank bolt that we've been waiting on. It's crazy how things have changed. Rather than buying stuff from our vendors half the time, we just order it from Amazon because it ends up being about the same price. That's interesting. And we know we're going to get it. We can track it. It should be the biggest crank bolt. Oh yeah, that looks much longer. That's what she said. <laughs> I was waiting for that. I'll set you up with that one. You knocked it over the park. Over the park. Out of the park. Can you tell I'm English? So now we can put the bolt back in there and know that the crank bolt and uh, crank is on right and put the rack back in. Okay, it's the end of the day where I always put my little, like, uh, I feel like Jerry Springer, you know, he always talks about things on the end. Well, real quick, do want to say I really appreciate everybody that subscribed to our channel and I hope you feel uh, our character and our personalities from it. George and I work as a team, I mean, better than I could possibly have uh, dreamt. Talking to friends, I'm so lucky to have some of the friends that I could call seriously like I talk about Steve, I could call Steve at 2 a.m. and say, hey, um, I need something. It'd be, uh, okay, it's gonna take me this long to get there. I have so many good friends like that, and the same kind of friends, I do the same for them. They say, hey, I'm in such and such, I need this. It'd be no questions asked. It'd be, how do I need to get it to you? So that's the beauty of having those real good friends, and the car community is what's brought them to me. And it's it's kind of like how YouTube has brought so many people to us, so many people supporting us, we try and support them. It's, it's a terrific thing, it really is. Where am I going with this? I don't know. And George isn't here, but he's part of that too. If George needed something at 2 a.m., what do you need? No problem, we'll make it happen. It's, it's, he works here but he's a friend as much as an employee. He is an equal. I don't look at him as an employee. He is part of the company and that's what he's supposed to be about. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. More to come, more cool stuff. We're gonna be announcing the winner here real soon of the uh, the Honda pen holders. I don't know where they are. There they are. Uh, Bruce was just picking these up, looking through them. He has selected uh, the person he wants. You guys will get one of those and we'll put something else in the box to make it a little bit more interesting. Thanks for watching, see you on the next video. Don't forget, enjoy your cars.